I'm safe and sound where I can be. I feel I can breathe. Don't leave me yet. <laughs> I'm not about to cry. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Gigi Divine and we are back with another music related video. I'm seeing that this is probably the theme that you guys like the most. Um, my videos that are music related are definitely viewed more and liked more. So I'm going to do more music content and I do love music so it's only right. And we're going to continue my series that I kind of started um, where I react to old projects uh, years after and blindly revisit it. And what I mean by that is that I just press play. I don't look at the track list. I just press play and let it take me on whatever journey it's supposed to take me on and that's what it is. And I record it for, you know, myself but also for you guys and hopefully these types of videos can put you on to some music that you did not know from, you know, artists that you know but you didn't go back to their old songs like I do. But yeah, so this video is going to be me blindly revisiting SZA's S album. Now, I already did see SZA run. If you did not see that, I will put the link in the description box below. But yeah, that was definitely a journey. And I like doing that kind of content. Let it take me back to the time where I was when I first heard these songs. I love doing that. I love nostalgia. So yeah, I'm already on her SoundCloud, which again, I said before, I love that she still has her old SoundCloud up. It's called Just SZA. If you don't know where to find that account, I'll put it in the description below as well. Yeah, um, I'm gonna just go ahead. You know, I don't want to waste any time. I just want to go on this trip, so to speak. Um, but you know, as I was doing these videos, I always get thirsty. I think just you know talking a lot gets me gets me thirsty. Shout out to REI. This is not a sponsorship, but um, it could be. Let's get started. Ooh. Okay, I'm already losing my mind. Okay, who? Wish I was prettier, a little for ya. Maybe I'll understand when I get older. I just don't get it yet. I still don't get it. I'm not finished yet. It's overrated. I'm not into that. She just don't get it yet. I need to take a break. Wait, wait. It's crazy that this song still applies to my life right now. <laughs> because, you know, I'm I'm more grown, but there are still so many things that I'm just like. I just don't get it yet. Like, I'm not finished yet. I am in my 20s. Like, I am not the person that I know I could be. And just hearing her say this. And I think what's crazy is that she is the age that I am now when she made this song. So it's like I feel it on another connection, too, because I'm like, girl, I get it. Tell me it gets easier for me. Please tell me it gets easier. Anything, I just don't get it yet. Not meant to get it yet. Tell me it gets easier for you. Tell me it gets easier for you. Tell me it gets easier for you. Tell me it gets easier for me. Same castles and all that shit that I like. How does this song still hit the same? Nine years later. Oh god, this is gonna be a trip, I could tell. And I'm completely sober. Oh yeah, she had these skits in here. Mm -mm. 
Let's bring me back to that movie. It's on my Ooh, her vocals are so haunting, but like in a good way. This wasn't um ever one of my go-to songs, but it's cool. I feel like she's right here. Ooh, I love the way they edited her vocals. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aftermath. Mm-hmm. Oh, her vocals. I tell you for so long, I am not human. Fairy tales pictured us, I don't feel not real. I'm alive. Careless. I like it. Maybe we should burn. Maybe we should burn. Did I ever be anyone's baby? Baby. This song is so good. You leave me careless. I like it. Did I ever be anyone's baby? I am so jealous of anyone that's ever seen this song perform live because I really want to see this song live. Even now, in 2022, SZA, if you want to, you know, pull out some songs from, from you know, the, the olden days, you know, whenever you do your call outs, you know, for, oh, who's been here since S, I'd be like, a me and then you could play aftermath like i'm just i'm just setting it up for you you know i'm not pressuring you to do anything but i think a lot of people would appreciate it i'm i'm a lot of people <laughs> i remember this i remember this oh. mm-hmm Oh, is this the Odyssey? Mm -hmm. It's real chill. <laughs> All right. Oh God, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. I had a feeling this one was on this album, but I was not sure. And that's why I said I was nervous because I'm like, wait, I feel like I remember Prey coming after the Odyssey. Okay, let me give y'all a backstory. Um, I've mentioned a few times that SZA is my favorite artist on earth period um and that I went back to her old songs when I first saw her at Afropunk in 2015. This was the first song I heard on her SoundCloud after I saw her at Afropunk and I was glued I was glued since that day since that song so this is where it all started for me I just needed to give some context to that reaction, that very visceral reaction, because that's what happens when you you make that connection with a song. Okay, for yourself one time. I jumped off a bridge. You say I fell, I say I flew. I think I'm starting to feel. 
something here in the dark I think I'm starting to feel something On my mind Too heavy to bear The struggles that I find Keep running on Yep. Mm-hmm. Still sounds great. How does she do? <gasps> oh no, this. This song? Let me pause, because this deserves complete attention. This, Ice Moon, is what gave her that stamp back in, what was it, 2013, 2014? Of glitter trap if any of y'all remember that era let me know in the comments but if y'all know y'all know this is what started it uh another great song timeless 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 song sadness i can smell sunlight i could feel the highlights Bless me, God, bless me. God is a forbidden love, I and she. Show me the way to your hiding place. I think I wanna go, go there. Go to church if you're scared. Star signs say I'm rare, chosen by who? I wonder who's watching mm -hmm. Oh Wings? This scene Cocktails of the movie. Wine, Yuck. The tracks after the skits are very chill. Like, the songs that are standalone songs definitely have more energy, but that probably was the whole point. Oh my god, guys, <laughs> look what I just realized. Look what my necklace says. It's a cursive S. This was not planned. This is just, um, this is my first initial, so. But look at the alignment. Crazy. For those that are confused, Gigi is my nickname. So, yeah, but S is my first real initial. Oh, shit. <laughs> and S is his first initial. Look at, look at the synchronicity. Oh, and synchronicity being as what it is. <laughs> what? What? I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm here for it. Shout out to the people whose name begins with an S. Yay, let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, that was the last song, and that was my reaction to blindly revisiting S, Scissors S, nine years later. This EP definitely had more skits or you know little sound bites from you know rosemary's baby those tracks that were tied to skits were more i think very calm like not her usual sound at least at the time whereas you know songs like aftermath castles ice moon like right off the bat they came at you with high energy and overall this ep is definitely cute um there were 
there were songs as you saw that definitely hit me hit hit my heart real hard because i remember loving those songs so much and they still hit the same oddly enough nine years later so kudos to you SZA because you obviously know what the secret sauce is because you have it that was my reaction and if you like this content please hit the like button i'll really appreciate it and if you want to hear me talk about whatever else comes to mind <laughs> please hit the subscribe button and i would also appreciate that i believe i just hit 128 subscribers oh my gosh that's a lot from zero i keep saying that uh, but yeah, as far as my favorite songs on this EP, if it wasn't obvious from the reaction, I will put them right here. Okay. And please comment your favorite songs from this EP down in the comments. I would love to see what your favorite songs were. Until next time, continue to spread love, lights, and logic wherever you are. Bye.